so welcome back to the channel guys so tonight we are going to do um what's in my kids DUI um christmas advent so this year last year we did like i'll probably link last year what's in my kids um advent but this year we are going to do um activities so not really gifts it's just something fun keep everybody's entertaining I think it will work perfect because now that we transitioned it into um, cut off our time before bedtime of technology like TVs tablets games are off which we're on day three and the kids are hitting the like normally it takes them about 15 15 minutes to fall asleep like but I read a little longer but now that we have started this they're normally hitting the they're going to sleep within three to five minutes, which is more ideal because they're tired. Like they're not overstimulated because we do quiet time, which is like puzzles. But I'm gonna show you guys. I just got the moon's birthday birthday stuff out the way. I'm not gonna go in any type of order, but this is just be some fun stuff. So we got this um, reindeer. I don't even, I don't even know if I want us to do it because we're doing cookies with my mom. I think I'm going to actually um this is only 50 cents so I believe I want to donate it to the um a box we're sending to a to a mom a family um who's you know just struggling and so I think I'm going to put this in there as an activity so that way they'll be able to do um cookies and I think I'm going to take I think we have a box of um cookie mix in there that she'll be able to use with this so I think we're not going to add this in our we're just going to give it to someone else to experience but so I believe for December 1st we are I put the, the 12 but I want to do it before the 12 but we are going to do um Christmas plates so I, I found this on Pinterest that's why it's printed out because this won't fit into the, 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 the bucket that we're using, but it just says Merry Christmas and it has the kids' handprints. Let me see. I can't put it right now. So the kids' handprints. That is one of our um, things we are doing. Um, I think this will be really fun, but I also want to get rid of our um, these plates because we're getting new plates. So um, we will be having grandparents visit this year. So I think we're going to make multiple. <laughs> multiple plates. I think we want to make three to four of them. Um, next, I'm just not going any order, but they are getting Christmas cups. So I should, we, I found these hot cocoa, Frosty the Snowman. It is actually Frosty. I just thought it was a regular snowman, but it's melt, melt to make hot cocoa. Um, but I found these at Kroger. So I got two and I, I heard people say, just spend a little bit more money on the cocoa bombs because the Dollar Tree ones I heard they say are very very <laughs> nasty and my kids are very picky with their cocoa so yeah so we did get snowman so it's like chocolate and white chocolate and white chocolate these were um, $3.99 but I believe we got a dollar off coupon when I bought the week that I bought them at Kroger but that was like really cool so there's two items and um, we're going to gift cups. So they'll have like, they're not getting both of these together. That would be cute, but we have Coco. But both of their names are on here. So I did Ivory on hers. She's learning a reason though here. So hers is a little bigger because she's learning her letters and how to spell her name. And then his is like more of a really nice font. Let's uh, see ya. Uh, and so these are really good there. <laughs> And I did this, why I did this is be the wide glass cups. It's because they like to dip Oreos so, and cookies. So that's a good idea if you're thinking about cups. They make more of a mess if you have the narrow white cups, normal cups. So I figured these work better. So that's three items. We are going to make snow globes. So I have everything in here. And I just got these little kits from Dollar Tree and I put glitter in here and then everything else we need I'll just have it <laughs> but this one has a like a Santa mailbox I like this because this is something we can keep adding to our decorations a Christmas tree and then this is the postman 
and this one and then I chose to do blue glitter to make it more fun so we have that in there um, and then we have another one this one actually has Santa it has red glitter these actually came out of like do you know how Ryan those Ryan um surprise thingies we never got around to like making the slime because I don't like it but we kept all the glitter and stuff. So this one has a snowman. This one has like a welcome to the North Pole. And then here is Santa. Because we have a cookie plate. But the kids, I think this will be a really good activity for the kids to give to my mom. And my mom, um, Sean mom. And then their Nana and them is coming down. So I think it will be so cute to... Um, give it to them uh, next this is just wrap what's wrapped in here is those um what is it sour patch straws um but we're going to make christmas tree i just did not put everything into the <laughs> what we're going to make i'm just going to pull out the uh, material we'll need i can make homemade icing that is easy you don't need to buy icing you just need butter and a powder sugar <laughs> and some flavor whatever flavor you want to do and um i believe oh yeah and i put the m&ms in there too so there's a pack of uh, mini m&ms that came out the halloween candy so it says making your christmas tree um christmas tree cone in the classroom but we're going to do this at home i found a lot of these ideas activities off of pinterest next um we're going to do two types of kits. Um, well, they're going to get both together, but this one I didn't turn off the bleed on when I was printing it. So it says Cookie Baking Crew. It, so they can feel together, but it's normally just one package. But there's the cookie mix in here. <laughs> I already know how to make this package. And then there's just all the ingredients that they'll need. Like, I just cut it off. So it's by what? Betty Crocker. Just put everything in there. Took it out the box. You have your candy, and this is your fudge, and then you have your um, your liners, which we technically would need smaller liners because we'll make the smaller ones. So they got these, and this one says um, bacon spirit right. So that I made these are from Dollar Tree. Do not get the um, the hen. The mitten one because it burns your finger but this has an extra grip on the back so this works perfect so there's two for two i ran a red one i didn't put the name on them because they both can use them next we are this is like i guess because we're doing a traditional tree i just felt like i wanted to be full filled with things my kids make and just more memories this is our first home um so i we're going to do these candy canes made from Fruit Loops. So I added the pipers in here, and then from our um, pantry, I added the small mini box of Fruit Loops in here for them to make. So this is another activity that's off Pinterest. I'm going to try to link all the ones that I found. Some stuff I can link all sites. So last year, Ivory was in the hospital twice. Ours be so we didn't come home until three days before Christmas, and so they gave us like you know you didn't know when you was coming home. You just we can tell you <laughs> it was just like a day by day, and so they gave us a lot of activities. But she was too young for it, and they just kept coming around and giving us a lot of because I did have a riz at the hospital with us at both kids. Um, but these are like mittens in here, and as I said, grandparents are visiting us this year, so. I think they'll be really excited to do some activities with them but i got pur purple and a pair of blue and purple and i just put pom-poms in there we have like the string stickers like this will be cute stuff we can hang like in the window or around a like little our little area right now next as i said a lot of crafts came from in this package we got last year from um the hospital that they were just too young to, to do so we're going to make some snowmen which i'm excited because these can go on the tree i got two one two um next we are going to play this um uh, being game 
with the nasty jelly beans and the good jelly beans. I can't wait to see how they uh, respond to this game because they just went, oh, that's candy. <laughs> but this is from Amazon. I think it was like $4.99. I found this, this um, box. Next, we all, so if you also go to um, Home Depot and they have like monthly activities, but they really didn't need to do this activity. I believe this was the October activity. I can't remember which month this was, but this is the um, table tennis. I think this would be really cool because it's getting cold and we can't really be outside. So it comes with everything in here. So this is a free activity we didn't have to pay for. I just, we picked it up because we were going to Home Depot a lot, but we haven't gotten around to do it. But I thought it would be a cool activity to do since we'll be stuck in the house. Next, we just have like some play fun activities. So we have these um, two play foams. We got these last year. The kids, <laughs> we had more, but they would want to eat them and put them in their mouth. So this year, we got some understanding, some communication. We get it. So they can get this as just a, like a play activity, more like throughout the, in the daytime. Next, um, I really didn't find a picture for this activity, but I know it's in here. So, what they did is that they glued, they like flat glued all the um, the glue sticks, the glue, the popsicle sticks together. Then they painted them red, and then they had like the top painted like brown to look like cocoa. And then they had cotton balls on top to be marshmallows. And then they had like a little handle, um, like you're going to drink it. But I thought it would make the whole ornaments for the tree and we can give them to grandparents because we don't get to see them every year every holiday we try to like skip years but it's something that the kids can have next we are going to make ornaments i did find <laughs> my glitter i had put blue in here but i want red but i found my glitter it's still hiding somewhere but i got these two i didn't buy these this year but you can get these from dollar tree i already had these from last year I just didn't use them so we're going to make some Christmas ornaments because I said a lot of this stuff is tours we get to see grandparents this year so a lot of these activities they can take back there they can give a box or basket to to their grandparents um, I have I did get marshmallows but there is this thing where you um you take the candy canes and you have like a fat marshmallow on top of it and then you dip the marshmallow in like melted chocolate and then you dip it in like um like sprinkles or m ms whatever candy you want and it becomes a treat so yeah we're not doing a lot of candy in our in our epic in our christmas stocking because we do it it's easier to break it up if you go throughout <laughs> the month um next we are doing um i did customize their aprons you guys seen, seen that in the video what i made my kids for christmas so we are in this um package i just put both aprons together but there is pizza um a pizza pizza crust maker so i didn't put everything in here that we're gonna need to make pizza but i just put the pizza dough package and so we're going to make like Christmas tree pizzas, a Santa pizza, a star pizza, and so that's the idea for this. I didn't put, I did not put cookie cutters in every activity. We're just going to use one set of cookie cutters. Just have it in a pile that I know we'll, we'll need to use. Um, next in here, let's see. So next, it's one of a fun thing. So they both are in Raises in Sonic, and I found this Sonic ornament at um, Hallmark. I already took it out the box because I don't want it to give away, but because um, I'm going to give it together. So they both open it, and so and then so these were about I think he was eight to nine dollars, but he's really nice. I'm so excited, and I'm going to do like how Annie. I'm going to write a race name in the year. And I don't know if I can do Dora. I probably her initial. And I found Dora also. And Dora was just 
um, $5.99. So I raise into Dora. So I got Dora. That was a that was a really like I just went into Hallmark to look and I was wanting to get them like ones in ballet and figure out one for Reese. And then I wind up coming around coming to see ornaments they both are into. What's up? So I did not get her, but um, we left all on pizza crust. So we're actually going to do, um, <laughs> we're going to do like chocolate spoons. They probably will tear these up. I found this activity, chocolate spoons. It goes great because normally every um, every day of the month, we, in December, we normally have in cocoa at least twice a day. So it doesn't <laughs> hurt that they're going to get chocolate. We are also going to do peppermint ornaments you do have to get peppermints i just the activities we're going to do i just wrap put a piece of paper wrapping paper and stuff the activity on there that way i don't have to try to fit everything into the christmas advent um, capsule that's what we're doing we're doing a christmas advent count capsule so normally i'm just probably going to wrap and let them pull out <laughs> like yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Um, next, we are still going to do these um, um, Oreo Christmas ornaments. But guess what? Gus was about to save us a lot of work. So, they have the Oreo covered cookies out now. So, all I need to do is buy some wrinkles. And that's it. Because I don't need to make icing. All I need to do is have candies to go onto the ornaments and some rollets because that's what it seems to be chocolate cord a rose and um ornaments with some a rollé to look like the ornament part right here but i thought that was a cool that would be a great activity to do they're probably gonna love it <laughs> we love oreos <laughs> next we are going to do play-doh even though they are getting play-doh this is actually a good sensory activity for kids to do if we made it all the time because Riz, because COVID last time last year, Riz teachers sent a lot of rest recipes home. So we're going to do homemade play-doh. And I'm going to try to find um peppermint, peppermint scent. I think we're gonna do peppermint and ginger, gingerbread cookies, but play-doh. But when you make this type of play-doh, do not store it in a sandwich bag, actually store it in a container where it seals because Homemade Play-Doh can mold quick if you don't have it in a really good sealed container. But I also believe you can freeze it. I'm not sure. And next we have Salt Dough Fingerprint Christmas Ornaments. There's a few we're going to do. But this one is we got Christmas trees. And we also are going to do their hands. So it's just one picture. But we're going to do multiple. We were going to do this activity. But as I said, you guys, we, I do know um, a mama that's struggling. So I'm going to also send her... The cookie kit so this will go with her because you just need like the icing and stuff and they can put it all on there so i'm just going to send this to her so her little one can make christmas sandwiches and i think she's really going to appreciate that but that's all we have i don't even know how many activities we have but um normally i'm good at coming going with the flow so what one two three four Five in my hand. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We do have marshmallows there in the kitchen. I did get those. So that's a twelve. Thirteen. Um, Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and so 23, and tw uh, 23, 24, so the few, I think the, by the time we get to the end, we, we are leaving, we're going to be out of state for the 22nd. Till the 23rd for a raise um birthday 
experience. So we won't be coming back until like the 20th, December 23rd, like afternoon, evening time. So yeah, I don't really think we're gonna plan much because normally you'll see what we're gonna do next is the kids will get their advent, um, I mean Christmas Eve boxes, but we're gonna do Christmas Eve bags, so it's just much easier. Um, which I have majority of everything for them and I just think like one day without something is fine this is fine this is what I got you can do books but they already get enough books so yeah so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys um, like the ideas you find something that will work for you guys I do want to show you guys the capsule I just have to get my little butt up to go get it um, cause I still have to, I think tonight, <laughs> I still have to dab the chalk, the chalkboard part so the kit, so we can change out the date. But I painted it. I'm gonna show you what it, what it is. Ow, 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 ow. So, here it is. So it's gold and I did it gold because once I'm done with it, it's going to go in the washroom and it's going to be used for the washing pods. <laughs> so that's why it's gold. Um, this little portion right here is going to be black for countdown. But it's just a, oof, a old pretzel can where I bought the Halloween pretzels in here. And yeah, it took about what four four to five well six coats of spray paint because I spray painted it three times on each because with this spray paint um it will scratch if you don't put a lot on there and then I had to seal it three times with the sealer so it won't like scratch so now I'm learning my lesson <laughs> but I won't put the glass I won't put the coffee cups are not going to go in here and the um yeah, the coffee cups and the plates, I believe, are the only two things that's not going into the um, into here. But I believe everything else, I don't know, oh, probably these. I don't think these are going to fit. Oh, they fit, but I, they take up a lot of areas. So I don't think these are going to go in here. This will be something that will just sit on the outside of it. The majority of all this stuff can fit in here because I did try it. Yeah. So I went to see if it fits in here first. So no, it don't. I don't even know if I want to actually wrap, wrap this stuff. I think I'm just going to have them mystery stick their hand in here and see what we're what we're doing, what activity we're going to be doing. I don't know if everything will fit. Oh yeah, the kids are getting we have. A lot of these activities in here that we're going to try to put a few in here if this works i don't even have to wrap y'all i really don't it'll be whatever you pull out is what we're going to do type of memo that's why it's called a capsule it's just it is what it is um we got some candy canes we're going to put in here Kind of like layer them, layer them up different, so we can do different activities at a time. Um, I will wrap up the ornaments because I don't think they're going to too much fit in here. So, oh y'all, everything about to fit in here. Oh my God, the note. I don't want to do all that. <laughs> so we're going to take some of this wrapping paper and we're just going to ball these up in here. Lay in there. So. Fold up. I'm gonna just take this off because she don't need that either. And then so majority of all the stuff fits in the capsule. So 
I think I'm gonna just have like them close your eyes and pick something out. But now that all this is hidden, I can kind of these bags been beat up. God knows what. Uh, yeah. So that bag been beat up. But so I hope you guys find something useful. Um, I am going to um, get my chalk on here so I can dry and we can be ready. But I'm so excited for this. I am going to wrap. I wrap the cups and then wrap the um the cookie mix because those are the things that is going to be just set out for them because I don't have uh, it just won't fit in the capsule. But so I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. You find helpful tips, projects, fun, and we'll just roll over. I probably will be posting this one first and then next will be um what's in my kids christmas um christmas eve bags which we are these cute snow